Copywriting on LinkedIn is critical if we're going to start generating the level of responses that can really lead to a profitable campaign. And I'll walk you through some of our considerations when we're building some of this LinkedIn copy. Now, um, I've, I've been super fortunate to have built um, my LinkedIn account to 23,000 connections and followers at the time of recording and have generated over 100,000 pounds in sales from LinkedIn, as well as being a TEDx speaker from LinkedIn, as well as being asked to feature on over a dozen podcasts from LinkedIn, as well as generating, still today, regular leads from LinkedIn. LinkedIn is incredible, it really does work, it's extremely powerful, and the copywriting process is an integral part of how you can position it. I'm sure you're familiar with the platform of LinkedIn, but unleashing its power does really and truly begin with your actual copywriting for your LinkedIn profile. So we'll go through the steps in identifying your ideal client, thinking about the total addressable market. What does this mean in terms of the persona of the LinkedIn account that we're either using on your behalf or we're creating on your behalf? Then we'll build a script and then we'll build a couple more scripts to split test those as according to the different industries and plug that into our team of virtual assistants as well as custom dashboard to start generating responses. So as we move into the persona considerations, the nuance with LinkedIn is of course that your personal information is a lot more visible. Whereas on, for example, email, the ultimate end goal is to get you know a prospect to respond to a cold email. With LinkedIn, it's really a case of having them looking at your profile, also responding, but the reality is, is it opens it up much more to the possibility of them reviewing your profile. Certainly a, a recent you know, client that we won that is spending now several thousand pounds in excess of 5,000 pounds per month with us began with a cold email out, rather a LinkedIn outreach, then looked at you know, my partner's account, went and looked at our company, went and looked at the company on Google, and then went and booked a calendar booked a, a meeting into our calendar directly. That was the entire process. So why that, that happened is because LinkedIn lends itself to really doing such due diligence a lot more rapidly. You're literally just staying within the platform. So there's lots more persona considerations that become important to when building your copywriting campaign. And the copywriting, of course, then across the entire profile, what is your summary saying? Does it make you sound you know, interesting and impressive? Does it feel like you could solve my problems? All of these components become critical to what we're trying to achieve. And then of course the copywriting itself does need to be shorter because you have character count limitations when you're doing, for example, second degree level reach out, as well as the you know, nuance that LinkedIn has an inbox where it's very easy for stuff to get pushed down. So these factors come into play and we need to consider, of course, then the goal of LinkedIn versus the goal of email or rather how people are using LinkedIn as a business slash social platform, but really for the searching and for the sharing of business information, whereas email can be a lot more internally focused and the actual end game of conducting the transaction at the same time tends to happen on email. So there's these nuances that do get factored into how we build our campaigns. And then there's of course the account that we'll be sending it from. Are we using your account? Are we using one of the actual accounts that we'll build for your company so we can be free of any worries, for example, as to positioning and persona, and we can build it based upon the experience that we've had of generating hundreds of appointments through LinkedIn, maybe more to be honest with you, but these are the considerations that become important as well as when and where, if at all, to insert calls to action within your LinkedIn messaging sequence, which we'll build out for you. It can be three steps, it can be five, it could be 10, and whether we should and when we should direct a person offsite perhaps to a landing page, to your website, or to a booking link. So all of these factors really come into play and become pertinent to the space of copywriting on LinkedIn.